everybody, uh, welcome back. I um, hope you've been out enjoying lots of lovely sunshine. Um, I just want to let you know that from now on I'm just going to be uploading two or three stories a week. Um, I'm firstly, because I'm running out of books. Um, and secondly, because I think there's lots and lots of things for you to explore online. So I hope that's okay. Um, today's story is by a very famous author called Dick King Smith whose stories are usually about animals and today's story is about a little dog, uh, a little sausage dog actually, called Dumpling um, and the proper name for a sausage dog is a Dachshund so um, this story is called Dumpling. I hope you enjoy it. Oh how I long to belong said Dumpling. Why who do you want to belong to? asked one of her brothers. No I don't mean to Belong, said Dumpling, I mean to be long. When the three Dachshund puppies had been born, they had looked much like the puppies of any other breed. Then, as they became older, the two brothers began to grow long, as Dachshunds do. Their noses moved further and further away from their tail tips. But the third puppy stayed short and stumpy. How long you are getting, said the lady who owned them all to the two brothers. She called one of them Joker because he was always playing silly games and the other Thinker because he liked to sit and think deeply. Then she looked at their sister and shook her head. You are nice and healthy, she said. Your eyes are bright and your coat is shining and you are good and plump. But Dachshunds are supposed to have long bodies, you know, and you haven't. You're just a little dumpling. Dumpling asked her mother about the problem. Will I ever grow really long like Joker and Thinker, she asked. Her mother looked at her daughter and sighed. Time will tell, she said. Dumpling asked her brother Joker. Joker, she said. How can I grow longer? That's easy, Dumpy, said Joker. I'll hold your nose and Finkel will hold your tail and will stretch you. Don't be silly, Joker, said Thinker. Thinker was a serious puppy. He did not like to play jokes. It would hurt, Dumpy, if we did that. Well then, what shall I do, Thinker? asked Dumpling. Thinker thought deeply. Hmm. Then he said, Try going for long walks. And it helps if you take very long steps. So, Dumpling set off the next morning. All the Dachshunds were out in the garden. The puppy's mother was snoozing in the sunshine. Joker was playing a silly game, pretending that a stick was a snake. Thinker was sitting and thinking deeply. Dumpling slipped away through a hole in the hedge. Next to the garden was a wood and she set off between the trees with her very short legs. She stepped out boldly, trying hard to imagine herself growing a tiny bit with each step. Suddenly she bumped into a large black cat, which was sitting under a yew tree. Oh, I beg your pardon, said Dumpling. Granted, said the cat. Where are you going? Oh, nowhere special. I'm just taking a long walk. You see, I'm trying to grow longer. And she went on to explain about Dachshunds and how they should look. Everyone calls me Dumpling, she said sadly. I wish I could be long. Granted said the black cat again. What do you mean? she said. Can you make me long? Easy as winking, said the cat, winking. I'm a witch's cat. I'll cast a spell on you. How long do you want to be? Oh, very, very long, cried Dumpling excitedly. The longest dash out ever. The black cat stared at her with his green eyes and then he shut them and began to chant. 
abra, cat abra, hark to my song, I will make you very long. The sound of the cat's voice died away and the wood was suddenly very still. Then the cat gave himself a shake and opened his eyes. Remember, he said, you asked for it. Oh, thank you, thank you, said Dumpling. I feel longer already. Will I see you again? I shouldn't wonder, said the cat. Dumpling set off back towards the garden. The feeling of growing longer was lovely. She wagged her tail madly and each wag seemed a little further away than the last. She thought how surprised a joker and thinker would be. She would be much longer than them. Dumpling indeed, she said. I will have to have a new name now, a very long one, to match my new body. But then she began to find walking difficult. Her front feet knew where they were going, but her back feet acted very oddly. They seemed to be a long way behind her. They kept tripping over things and dropping into rabbit holes. They kept getting stuck among the bushes. She couldn't see her tail. So she went round a big tree to look for it and met it on the other side. By now she was wriggling on her tummy like a snake. Help! yapped Dumpling at the top of her voice. Cat, come back please! Granted, said the witch's cat, appearing suddenly beside her. What's the trouble now? Oh please, cried Dumpling, undo your spell. Some people are never satisfied, said the cat. Once more, he stared at her with his green eyes. Then he shut them and began to chant, Abra Kadabra, hear my song. It will make you short, not long. Dumpling never forgot how wonderful it felt as her back feet came forwards from her front ones and her tummy rose from the ground. She hurried homewards and squeezed her nice, comfortable, short, stumpy body through the hole in the hedge. Joker and Thinker came galloping across the grass towards her. How clumsy they look, she thought, with those silly long bodies. Where have you been, Dumpy? shouted Joker. Did the exercise make you longer? asked Thinker. No, said Dumpling, but as a matter of fact, I'm quite happy as I am now. And that's about the long and the short of it. The end.